Hello learners. So in the series of operating system subject, we were discussing the evolution of operating system. And now the next operating system is multi-programming operating system. So what is what multi-programming means? Multiple programs reside in the main memory at the same time. Iske pehle ta kya ho tha? One job at a time in the memory. To us samay kya problem aa rahi thi? If there is one job in the memory, CPU will be idle. If that job will perform any I.O. operation, CPU doesn't have any work to do. So this is not the way we are utilizing our resource. To overcome that problem, multi-programming concept was there that says let's have multiple programs into the memory at the same time. All the programs which are, which are ready to be executed have to be loaded into the main memory but there is only one CPU now also. So that CPU will pick one of the job from the memory, main memory and execute it. Once there's, that job will go for I.O. operation, CPU will pick the next job from the memory. Instead of sitting just idle, it will pick one job from the memory and exe starts execution. So here we are trying to maximize the CPU utilization. Right? CPU is not idle at that time when a job which has been submitted to the CPU is going for I.O. operation. Okay? So every program during its lifetime needs two types of time. Whether it will execute on the CPU, that is called CPU time, and or it will perform some I.O. operation, that is called I.O. time. So whenever a process which is executing in the CPU will go for I.O. operation, CPU will pick another job from the memory which is ready to be executed so that idle time can be reduced and CPU utilization can be increased. So this switching, CPU is switching to another job only when the program or the job executing on it is going for I.O. operation. Okay. So CPU is never idle until there is a program ready to be executed in memory. This means what happened? Agar memory mein job hi nahi hai, tab to CPU idle hi rahega. If there is at least one job, CPU will never be idle. It will be executing each, do each of the job one by one, one by one. Like if the second job which has been taken by the CPU to execute, it is IO bound job. So that IO bound job will take most of the time for doing IO operation like copy and pasting. You are copying the movie from the pen drive to the disk. So that is actually performing the IO operation most of the time. So once it allocates the location where it has to store that, aapka kaam ho gaya, CPU ka kaam ho gaya. So it will switch to the next job. Okay. But if there is no job at that time, first job is doing IO operation, second job is also doing IO operation or waiting for IO operation and there is no other jobs or no other programs in the main memory. So if there is no program, nothing can be done. If there is no patient to see in the doctor cabin, so what? Doctor will be idle at that time. Okay. If there is a program, the CPU will never be idle. So multi-programming concept is that in the main memory at the same time, more than one program will reside from the disk. The programs which are stored there in the disk are loaded into the main memory. Okay. So one more concept is coming here. What is the difference between program and process? Program is a passive entity. It is just a set of instruction which is stored somewhere in the disk to be executed. But when a programmer or a user wants to execute that program, that program has to be loaded from the disk to the main memory. Okay. And when that program is allocated to the CPU or it will be selected by the CPU, that program is known as process. That means a program in execution is called process. So process is active entity which is actually executing in the CPU. So program is passive entity, process is active entity and program in execution is called process. So although 
three programs are there in the main memory, it doesn't mean all the three programs are running at the CPU. At a time, only one program will execute by the CPU. Okay, because you have one processing unit. You don't have multiple CPUs. You have only one CPUs. At a time, only one program will execute. Although you can have thousands of programs in the main memory based on the size of the main memory. Okay. So, which program to select from the main memory? It is called CPU scheduling. And the schedulers work behind this thing. This all concept I will be explaining in the CPU scheduling topic okay so this this is all about the multi-programming operating system what is the problem with this multi-programming operating system although we can have multiple C, multiple programs in in the main memory but CPU can only switch there is no interactive user interaction with the program right Kaise? agar kisi program ko most of the time CPU operation karna hai, wo pehle aaya hai. So it will get the CPU first, right? Aur uske baad aane wale program bahut shorter hai. They will take all, maybe some milliseconds or some nanosecond time to execute. But they will not get it because there is no concept of self CPU switching. So CPU cannot switch among the programs automatically. Or there is no concept of like that that CPU will switch between the programs between programs. If the program will go to the program I operation, then CPU will switch between the programs. That was the problem. So there is no user interaction. Right? If the user has multiple programs, but he is not doing it. He has to wait for a long time to wait for a page. This is not user interaction. Right? So, to this concept, the next program operating system came that is called time sharing operating system okay so that time sharing operating system will be discussed in the next video so just be with me to complete the evolution of operating system so in the next video i'll be explaining the time sharing operating system thank you